The Japanese culture is all about respect. So they speak very respectfully towards strangers and to people who are older or hold a higher position. One way that respect is shown is through the use of honorifics. Honorifics are words that imply or express high status, politeness, or respect. In English, there are the honorifics of Mr., Mrs., Miss, and Doctor, which is about it. And you wouldn't use these honorifics all the time in your everyday life. I haven't called anyone Mr. or Mrs. since high school. But in Japan, they use honorifics all the time when talking to strangers, friends, and even family. You have probably run into these honorifics in anime and manga before and been confused at their meaning. Well, you are in the right place, because this video is going to explain some common honorifics you might run into in the Japanese language while looking at how it might be translated into English. First, we'll start with yobisute, which is actually calling someone by their name without using an honorific. This is used when two people are really close and is usually agreed upon by the two. That's why in romance anime, it is always a big deal when one character will call another by just their name. Yobisute can also be used to show disrespect towards somebody, so someone may take offense if they aren't addressed with an honorific. San is the most common honorific in the Japanese language. It is gender neutral and is used for people of similar age and status, as well as those who are above you in status. It can be used formally when referring to strangers and informally when referring to friends. You have definitely heard this a ton of times in anime before because it is so common. It is also featured in titles such as Hayore Narcosan or Ijirunaide Nagatoro-san, which is translated into English as Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. San can be translated as Mrs. or Mr. as well because they are all showing respect towards who you are speaking to. Chan is most commonly used for younger women or children of any gender. It can also be used towards female friends of a similar age or for one significant other. It is very informal and not used for strangers. In Hori Mia, Hori gets upset when Mia Mura refers to a girl as Chika-chan because it makes it seem like they are very close, but he is just mimicking what Shindo, her boyfriend, calls her. There isn't a great comparison in English because we don't have informal honorifics. In fact, most anime just erase the chan entirely in translation. Another form of chan is chi, which is a cuter sounding form of chan. In Don't Toy With Me Miss Nagatoro, Nagatoro's friends call her Hayachi, which is very friendly and cutesy. To see what it can be translated as in English, we'll take an example from Food Wars, where Yuki calls Arena, Arena Chi, which they translate as Arena Poo for the dub. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep calling her Arena. There is also Tan, which is an even cuter way of saying Chan. It is used affectionately by otaku as a substitute for chan. A great example is Marin from My Dress of Darling referring to her favorite character as Chizuku-tan, fitting because Marin is an otaku, and they actually keep the honorific in the dub version. Kun is used for men younger than you or your male friends. An example I always think of is Masamune Kun's Revenge. It is commonly used in the workplace by superiors or senpais talking to their juniors or kohais. It can also be used for women in the workplace as well. And when used to refer to female friends, it is viewed as more respectful than chan. It is also often ignored when translating to English, just like chan is. Sama is most closely compared to calling someone master or mistress in English. Sama is very respectful and can be used to refer to deities or someone else you want to show respect towards, like guests or heads of an estate. God is referred to in Japanese as Kamisama. In the anime My First Girlfriend is a Gal, Yui's online persona is called Boa-sama, which is translated as Mistress Boa in English. She refers to herself as this because it fits her character, as she sees everyone as her servants. And by character, I don't mean her Boa-sama character, I mean the character of Yui. She sucks. You may also have noticed the honorific Chama before. This is not used very often and is a combination of Sama and Chan. It can be used to refer to younger masters if you are a servant. It is also used by Gaso's younger sister in Masamune Kun's Revenge to refer to Gaso. This is where I first saw it used. Also, side note, Shisho is translated to mean master in English, so it could be used instead of Sama. 
Masamune refers to Yoshino as Shisho in Masamune Kun's Revenge. You can tell that I just watched this anime because every example is coming from it. This next example isn't used very often, so I couldn't find much on it, but Pion is a very cutesy honorific that can be used towards anybody. It would be like talking to someone in baby talk. That's it. Like I said, I couldn't find much on it. Sensei is used to refer to teachers and martial arts masters. In English, it literally means the one before, but it is most commonly translated to be teacher. Sensei can also be used as a standalone title without a name, but you probably knew all of that because this one is so common in anime. She is used exclusively in writing. It is used by newspapers to refer to someone that the author wants to show respect towards. It can also be used in legal documents as well. Because it is exclusively used in writing, I have never come across it in manga or anime, so I didn't even know that this one existed. Hakase is used as a higher form of sensei. It is used to refer to academic professionals such as doctors and other high-ranking professionals. So an English translation would be doctor or professor. Dono was used in feudal Japan to refer to lords, and it is more respectful than Sama. The honorific is not used much today, but it can appear in anime and manga, like with Pawn from Renai Daiko. Pawn speaks like a samurai for some reason, so he refers to Seki as Seki Dono. There are also familial honorifics. Otosan means father, and Okasan means mother. For these honorifics and the ones following, the O sound at the beginning can actually be dropped. Obasan means grandmother, and Ojisan means grandfather, but you have to be careful about the length of the vowel, because the word for aunt is Obahasan with a short vowel, and uncle is Ojisan also with a short vowel. The words can also be old woman and old man too, so be careful. And people say that English is complicated. Onisan means older brother, and Onesan means older sister. When it comes to siblings, the honorific san can be switched out to chan depending on the person, and I specify older sibling because typically the older of the two will just address the younger by their name. That is all I'm going to cover in this video, but there are more honorifics that can be used in the workplace and in martial arts, but they aren't as common in anime as the ones that I already listed, so we'll skip them for now. But if there is enough demand for it, I'll make a part two. You'll just have to comment and let me know. And if I do make a part two, make sure you are subscribed with notifications. And with that, sayonara.